Hey everybody, Steven the Salon Guy here and I'm going to do a special requested haircutting tutorial that has been requested many, many times by you guys. And this is basically a simple, longer to, long to medium length layered haircut. That's it. So I'm ready, let's get started. What I've done is I've created a center parting and this is the beginning point of this haircut. What I'm going to do is start in the back here and then work to both sides and what I'm simply going to do is create my length. So I'm not going to go a lot a lot shorter on this mannequin head uh, but I'm going to bring it up about maybe three quarters of an inch just to clean it up and I'm going to work around the back and then both sides uh, and then we'll establish our length. As you can see what I did is I held, I held the hair in the comb. I didn't use my hands at all what you usually would see which is grab the hair and hold it in your hand like so. I didn't do that. I just went with no tension, comb it straight down, and then cut uh, from the, the guide that the comb itself created. I'd use my hands. I didn't use any tension. That's a great way to cut a pretty good straight line. Now what I'm going to do is going to create the length in the front of where I want the layers and the angling to start. So what I'm going to do is determine where that's going to be, which I'd say about right here. And then I'm going to bring everything to this one point and create an angle towards the front length. And that's going to create my layer throughout the front here and give me my guide of where I want everything come to come to. I'm going to repeat that on this side and then we'll have our complete base and outline finished. As you can see here is our outline throughout the front and the sides and again what I did is combed everything forward like so and brought it all down to blend in with the sides and even throughout some of the back here. Not too much, but you're not going to really be able to cut too much from the back. Brought everything down this way. Now if you want, in the front here, what you could do is you can chip into it like this. Alright, just using the thumb and what that does is it kind of softens the front line here, makes it just a little bit edgier um, and just softens it up so it's not such a harsh line in the front. So you can do that, you know, you can also do that while you're layering it. I'm just going to come around this side here, and basically do the same thing on this side here. Just chip into the length just to soften the line up a little bit. And just to make sure that we're pretty balanced. Now again what you can do to check this is simply just bring everything, grab two points of the same side, bring it together and to check your balance. Also what you could do is take the wide teeth which I do sometimes and comb everything that you can in, in sections to one point like so to see where you're at as far as the balance goes and as you can see we're pretty pretty good and if there are if there's anything that's off you just simply cut it on that side and you'll see how it balances everything out and it kind of evens out so again just kind of take everything in one spot and you'll see where there's longer longer pieces and that's also a good way how to kind of even everything out. Now we're going to start the layering in the back here. So what I like to do traditionally is, uh, and, and this, in most situations, not every, but most, is take a section right from the top back part of the head um, and then bring it straight up like so. And then that is going to determine the layering uh, and the length of where. Now remember, wherever you cut this, if I cut this here, that means these layers are going to fall here. You have to create something between down here and down here to blend it together. So always keep that in mind. Wherever you cut this first section is where it's going to fall. And then that's where you have to create the layering and the shaping. So always keep that in mind when you cut your first section. So I'm going to, this is where I'm going to cut mine right here. As you can see that there it falls down and 
there's where you have it. The next section, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go probably uh, another inch or so below that, comb this straight up like so, and what's going to happen is you're going to see your guide underneath, and then that is what you cut off. Repeat that on the other side here. Get this out, you can comb this out of the way. Comb it straight up. Again, you will see your guide right there. And there you have it. Now, comb it all down. And as you can see, it's starting to, it's starting to actually, let me just lower this a little bit here, there. What's happening is, it's starting to now create a layer into here but fortunately, we're not getting any harsh lines. So from this point on, I don't want to bring this up any higher from here because what happens is it really removes a lot of weight if you bring it too much hair up. So what we're going to do is actually, and you're going to be able to see this, what's going to happen is you're going to be able to connect these two. You're going to see where your last layer is, and then you're going to see where the bottom section meets it and there shouldn't be too much to cut off and then that's pretty much it so just so you guys can see in a different angle is here is where up here is where the layer starts from when I brought it all straight up and you're gonna see this down here is where you need to connect everything so all you're really doing is just blending the top in through the bottom layer and you'll be able to see. Remember, this is your length down here. You don't want to cut too much down in through this, but what's going to happen is everything is going to blend into itself by doing this sort of technique. Remember, don't bring too much hair straight up from, the, from down here because that will leave it very, very thin on the bottom. And you see the length is down here, so I'm not touching that. So I'm just going to continue this throughout the whole back connecting everything and then we're going to work on the top. Now when you get in through the sides here in the corners just keep in mind that you want to bring everything pretty much straight back because you don't want to remove too much weight or create any sort of holes in the corner. So when you get to this part here just kind of over direct everything straight back like so so you're not going to create any sort of uh, holes in through here and make it too thin uh, in the corners. It's better to, to kind of manually do that when you're working throughout the sides just so you can protect some of that length and that bulk in through here and the weight. So I'm just going to again continue to finish this whole back section here by doing the same exact thing and then we're going to work on the top section. Now we're ready for the top section. So what I'm going to do is, here's where we're going to use the section from our guide, which is what we cut in the back. Remember this? This is that piece we cut to establish the length in the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a section and I'm going to comb this out of the way. And the section I'm taking is pretty much right in front of the section that I took in the back. Okay, and I'm going to comb it straight up from the head. Remember your elbow is parallel. And there's your first section right there. Okay. Don't go into the sides yet. Take a section from the a piece from the previous section. Take a new piece from the the new section which is what that does is it creates your guide. Okay. There's a guide underneath. Elbow straight. And you're cutting straight across. That is it. This is what, what this is doing is it's creating the top layer. And it's connecting the back with the top. Now depending on the hair, previous haircut, you might see a few different lengths from all over the place depending on what the last the client had last. Um, and you might see pieces all like some extremely longer than others. You might see you know not much coming off. 
But the key here is to make sure that it's well balanced and that everything is even. Because remember, when you're cutting hair, you want to make sure that it grows out really well. And a well-balanced haircut, technically, will grow out really, really well. So the last section here, you want to take a little bit more because you want to make sure you're, you're keeping the, the length uh, and not really thinning out the front too much or creating any sort of holes. So here you're going to see where it's not too much was coming off because we established the guide. Then what I like to do is just create a, a section right down the middle and just kind of make sure everything is even. Just kind of balance it out. Make sure everything is which is right on point, which it is. Also connecting the front and the back here. Everything looks great. Everything should be perfectly even. So now what's going to happen is we're going to now work on connecting this because now we still have the side. So the top is finished. What I like to do is just push the hair out of the way like so. And here is where you're going to connect everything. So here's a little corner right here. And you're just going to cut that right off. Bring everything up there. The length drops out. And you don't want to go too, too low and cut off too much of the length. But there you have it. So you take again a little bit of the, ne of the last section you took, part of the new section which creates a guide so you can see where you're, where you're cutting and what you're cutting. There's the corner, there's the, the little parts I need to cut off. Alright, elbows up. There's the length, I didn't cut it, I just cut the layers. So I'm going to repeat this on again throughout both sides. I'm just going to finish this and then jump right to the other side. There you have it, how much coming off right there. And you can take now the part from the top section here, which is from the middle, and then kind of combine everything and it should all just magically flow in together. Really not much hair should come off from this corner, from the top here. It all should just perfectly balance out. If there is, it's barely, it's just a little bit for cleaning. See, I'm barely cutting anything, but those little hairs are very, very important. Nothing there. So I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. And the way I do that is simply by, again, taking a part of the section here from the middle that you cut the top. And what I like to do <clears throat> is make sure everything is pretty well balanced, but I like to actually stand in front this way so I can see what's going on. And also because if I was to cut it this way, what would happen is I'd have to, I'd end up putting my body in a weird position. I see a lot of people cutting this way. I mean, my, my, my back over here is killing me already. You want to put yourself in a good body position. So turn yourself around. Again, use this elbow. Kind of like if you're about to do I'm not going to elbow in your head. <laughs> but I'm going to bring my elbow up this way. This way I can see everything. And there is my layer right there. Excuse me for having my elbow in your, fa in your face here. I don't mean to do that. <clears throat> There's the guide underneath. Again. You will see, just like on the other side, you'll see what needs to come off. Don't go too low because that is your length and that will also thin out the bottom too much. Again, cut the corner. Bring everything down this way and take that off. And the last section right here in the front, not much should be coming off, just that little corner bit. And then this last part here. There you go. Again, now we connect everything to make sure it's blended in. And you do that by going a little further over into the center. 
here's where you can stand in front now, or behind it, all right? Because your body position, now you're a little more balanced. You should be just taking barely anything off, just a, a little bit, very little. And they, again, this is actually connecting everything so that when this haircut grows out, it's actually gonna grow out so well uh, because you're putting all this time into the haircut technically. Remember, what you put in is what you're gonna get out. That's very, very important. So finally, what I like to do is I like to just move my shears down. I like to just run my hands through everything and check the balance, check the length, make sure everything is pretty, not pretty, make sure it is even, and just go through every single thing. And what's gonna happen when you're doing this, the hair is gonna speak to you. It's gonna say, you know, you'll be able to feel up oh, something really isn't right. And that's when you kind of go back in, all right? And when you go back in to double check everything, you know, that's where the dry cutting comes in or that's where you're saying, hey, wait, you know what, this isn't right. Let me, let me go back and, f and, and, and go over this. And what's gonna happen is you'll be able to see and feel, oh wait, this side's longer. Then when you go back in and, and fix it, then you're gonna be like, oh, I see now. So hair will speak to you. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply some product to the hair and then we'll blow dry it and then we'll be finished. So for my styling products, I'm using the Melania Youthful 8 collection which is a favorite product line of mine. I love you working with them. Um, there's an argon oil, which I love. It's, it leaves the hair very silky smooth, really an amazing product for defrizzing uh, and leaving incredible shine. A leave-in treatment, which has a lot of vitamins, has eight essential vitamins in it, and also a keratin heat protector, which protects the hair from heat when blow drying. So I'm gonna use about two to three pumps of each, mix it and cocktail together and apply it throughout the whole head. Then I'm going to blow dry it and we'll have our finished result. And to blow dry, I'm using my Paul Mitchell Pro Tools, my Express Ion Dry version two, and my Paul Mitchell Pro Tools Express Ion Round Brush, which is large. One thing I just wanna show you when you're blow drying hair, I like to actually start right in the front like so. And this way you're, you're, you're seeing the shine, you're seeing everything, you're getting this out of the way. Uh, I'm just gonna blow dry this really quick for you guys to show you how smooth and shiny this is gonna be from this product and from the tools. Now I know, I know a lot of you out there watching this, um, especially clients, always wanna know how to blow dry hair properly. Well, you know, I'll do a whole other video on blow drying, but what you really wanna do is you lock in the brush and the nozzle of the blow dryer and the brush are always working seamlessly together. So you lock it in, you know, go down maybe a couple times, go back in. You know, a lot of times people go like this and they think they're done. It's not gonna happen. You have to go over this at least five to six times before you can actually smooth it out. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish the whole head uh, with this style and with this haircut and then we'll be done and I'll, I'll kind of recap everything for you guys. All right, so this is what the blow dry finish should look like, all right? And I know it's kind of like in her face, but here's where you, this is what I call the money shot right here. This is where you, now can the haircut will flow into itself. So what I like to do is usually have the client, uh, and in this case, the mannequin here, bring her, their head back like so, all right? And then just what you do is you rake it back with your fingers and just start to work the shape in there. Now because this is, I, I call this literally the, the, the perfect haircut. This is the best haircut because it all flows in so well. It's, it, it's so perfectly layered uh, and blended that everything just flows in so nicely. All right, now, client tilts the head back, and there you have it. Now, I don't have a mirror in front of me, I'm kind of going off the camera, but as you can see, very, very beautiful. Let me just get up a little closer uh, so you guys can really see it up closer. All right, now you can really see how it all just kind of really flows in nicely between the products, the tools. I mean, this is, this is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, let me just take this out of the way here so you can really see how this all blends in nicely. I mean. Look at the way the layers flow in. She had some highlights before, previously. Um, but yeah, this is it. I mean, see, it just, it all flows in so well. And there goes the back. So it's, it's somewhat, I'd say medium, you know, medium length, but you really can't go wrong with this haircut. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you, can, you can flip it around both sides. You can actually go over this side as well because of the evenness of how it was cut and also the way it was blow dried. Um, depending on the part, but again, it's, it's got the same kind of flow and the same movement to it. Uh, very, very, very beautifully done. This to me, again, 
it's a perfect haircut. You know, I love it. Um, and I think you can have a lot of success with it. Well guys, this wraps up my medium to long layered haircut. I think again, this looks great. I, you know, I'm gonna call this the perfect haircut. I mean, this to me is, is something you can't go wrong with it. It's got great, great shape. It's modern. It's never gonna go out of style and it's gonna grow out very, very well, very beautifully. Uh, and the clients are gonna love it. So I know this video took a little bit longer than what I usually do, but this I want to make sure you guys really understand this because it is a little more of a technical haircut and I really want you guys to get a lot of, out of it. Don't forget to subscribe to my videos. I'm going to be doing a lot more hair tutorials and some really cool things coming up. So thank you to everyone for subscribing. I couldn't be here without you guys. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon for another tutorial with the Salon Guy.